<laughs> Hi all, thank you for attending today. My name is Holly Wood and I'm one of your digital heat effects experts here. Um, I always like to start our webinar, just real quick introduction of our company because I'm super proud to work here and be a part of this team. We are a 50 year old um, family owned business. We carry everything from vinyl cutters all the way up to $100,000 cams machines with the rhinestones. We really are here to grow with you. We care about your, you and your success, not just the equipment that we carry. Um, today, we are going to be talking about our digital heat effects. Super exciting technology. And as I mentioned, us as a company, we had the first of this technology back in about eight years ago. We had the first three Okies into the US. So we have a lot of background, a lot of experience. Your techs will know a lot. If we'll, we'll show around the room. You can put up the digital heat effects transfers on just about anything that will go into your heat press. So here's the printer. Let's start there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll follow you around a bit. So, uh, you know, lead, lead us to where you want to go and, and I'll follow you around. And folks, hopefully, don't get too dizzy if we move much. And real quick, just a show of hands. Show me, it, or if you're already in the t-shirt business at some level, and a lot of people that work with vinyl don't think they're in the t-shirt business, and you absolutely are. So raise your hand just so I know my audience. Okay, so yeah, raise your hand if you're in awesome, the t-shirt business now. Okay. Oh, we have lots. Let's see. So we've got, Oh, I'm going to say close to two-thirds, somewhere between half and two-thirds without counting, are in the business. Great. Um, I'm real curious what? Exactly. So maybe sure, I'm going to ask some specifics real quick because um, we're going to try to we're not going to talk about things if they don't matter to you guys. So, for example, does anyone do sublimation? Raise your hand if you do sublimation right now. Okay, I got a couple. Oh. All right. So we have a couple people who do sublimation. So we'll address some of those some of the differences. What about heat transfer vinyl? Okay. There good is. amount of good amount of heat transfer vinyl. Most of the folks now. What about um, screen printers? Any screen printers? Couple. Nice. Cool. All right. We've got an awesome mix then. All right. So Holly, we're focusing on the equipment here. Why don't you tell us about what, what we're looking at? I'm going to take just a second. I um, I get a lot of calls where people don't quite understand the technology, so I'm just going to go over real quick. Um, they're confused how this is different than sublimation. Um, as the, the sub folks know, sublimation is actually a technology that when it's heat, the ink is heated with your shirt or your polyester, it fuses into the fabric. The digital heat effects is actually a laser toner photo quality printer that act, prints onto a transfer sheet. We then apply the glue to the back and it is a crisp, clear transfer. The last press will push it down into the fabric. It's gonna give it about a 40 to 60, sorry, <laughs> 40 to 60 washability. And just to give you a grade on that, I get that question a lot too. Your direct to garment's gonna give you about 40 to 80 and a screen will give you about 50 to 100. So that's where this process falls into place. Excellent solution, screen printers. They love this because you can give somebody a full color T-shirt, whether it's a sample or an order, in three to four minutes, especially vinyl, guys. I take people from vinyl making $20 an hour to two to $300 an hour overnight. So let's just go ahead. Mark, Let's. you want to print? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So, um, so you know, we kind of showed the printer yep. right there that's behind you. And then the other okay. vital part is going to be our heat press. And I, I have this. So we've already printed this one out. But this is basically what you're going to get when you print out. So this is what we can apply to our shirts, darks, lights. Like I said, pretty much any substrate that's gonna go into your heat press. Okay, very good. Well, so now that we have a basis of what the system is, so we're talking about we've got paper here, and what type of paper is that? Um, this is our Easy Peel laser transfer paper. So what's unique about our company, we have our own formulation of paper. You only need one paper, so I can use this on darks, lights or hard substrates if I'm doing things that are non-traditional. Um, so one paper, neon and metallic we'll discuss later. That is a single run through, but you do have the availability to do neons and metallics as well. Cool. Very good then. Awesome. All and Mark right, so, is going to flip us over yeah. um, to our print optimizer software. And this came out in December. This was actually designed, it's like an external rip software that is designed to work with the Oki. We had CAD Link design it for us. And it's going to give you lots of print selections 
things you can do with the print, make your colors more vibrant. Um, also new to us is um, we provide GIMP and Inkscape, and we also provide training on those. So that is available to you in your package, which I think is great, because if you don't have a ton of um, experience with graphics, we can help you through that as well. Now I'm gonna bring up, actually, since you mentioned that, um, we have a great resource, by the way. Yes. Um, which is our customapparelstartups.com. It's kind of separate from our family of companies. Um, so it's an, another, you know, sect of our family of companies. But in here, we we have a podcast. I'm one of the hosts of the podcast. Um, I think we're on. Let's see here, episode 80 of the podcast. Now uh, we just we just uh, recorded episode 81 yesterday. So there's 75, 80 hours worth of content on here. We also have courses that we've developed. Um, we've got what you mentioned, the GIMP software uh -huh. T-shirt design course, and we've got a how to get into the custom T-shirt. Uh, business course. So when you're um, when you're looking at a digital heat effect system, ask your rep about these courses um, and how you can get one of those included in your package. And y'all, that is also on Facebook too. So you can join that Facebook group. I think there's almost 7,000 members, and it's all discussing how to improve your business, starting business. They're all business questions, so it's beneficial for anyone in that group. You can throw questions out, looking for apparel, whatever you would like to use it for. All right, great, awesome. So um, what we're looking at here is our print optimizer software. And this, it does a lot of different things, okay? So first and foremost, um, I kind of refer to it as like the translator between our printer and, and the computer, okay? So you can go from a graphic software and you can, can click print. You can go into Corel Draw or Adobe, you can click print and print directly to this printer and it does a fine job. Um, however, what we've done in development of this software is we've developed specific profiles that line up with Windows, the, the software itself, and the printer. So when prints come out of this, you can actually choose different profile types to actually get the best out of your print. So for example, if you were going to print a photorealistic image, we've got a queue designed for photos and that actually attempts to blend better. Um, we've got a graphics queue. That's uh, attempts to do best at color matching going from you know the CMYK that you choose that you chose in your graphic to this so that's what this does in addition to that it also has some other functions and which is why I brought in this graphic um, we've got some um, what we call like production plugins you know for one um, you can send it to Photoshop you can edit with GIMP which is the which is the graphic software we have a training course for we also have like knock me out colors so this is uh, um, a great feature in the software where, for example, if you needed to get rid of this green background, you can actually select the green background and it knocks it out. I'll zoom in on this a bit just so you can And that's see a super bit. helpful if you're putting the same design on multiple colors because you can very quickly remove the color of the shirt that you're putting it on. Yeah, like so if it was going on a, on a white t-shirt, I might be done right here like this, you know? Um, if I was going on, say, a, a Heather type of a t-shirt or a light tan, something that effect, I might go through here and I might knock out the second color and remove out that tan as well. So you can pull colors out of graphics. You can do this to improve the feel, to improve the washability of a garment. I mean, everyone knows no matter what type of um, uh, technology you're using, the more you put onto a garment, the more of a chance you have of it actually getting damaged over time. It, it, a giant screen print logo to a giant vinyl logo, same thing with this technology. So it allows you to do things to take care of that. Um, you can also do color replacements. That's a great function as well. There's um, color replacement in here. And let's see here. Job color replacement. And in this function, you can actually go in here and you can choose a color and you can replace it with a different CMYK. You know, so I can replace this with, um, let's just say 100% yellow. And it actually can go through there. Oh, it's letting me know that I'm doing something, but anyway. Um, you can go th through there and you can change colors in your graphic, all stuff like that. So that's a great function too, if you're going from a white shirt to a black shirt. The software does a lot more. We've got, um, we actually have a 30 minute video just about the software. So if you really wanna get in um, to the software and learn more about it, um, 
go to digitalheateffects.com or uh, pick up the phone and give us a call and let somebody know you want to learn more about the software and there's some great videos um, out there for that. Uh, the next function is it does have the ability to what we call rip. You know, so you can rasterize and process the image before you actually print. Um, that is actually a true print preview. So it'll show you what's actually going to come out of your printer besides just the preview image here. Uh, that's a fantastic function as well. It saves you a ton of time, saves you a ton of paper, all that stuff, rather than printing something and realize you meant to knock out white in the image and you didn't actually knock it out. Or there was um, a little bit of a... a uh, some sort of a relic from a previous graphic you had done in your graphic software and didn't realize you copy and pasted that into it as well. You know, different things like that that can happen when you're creating graphics. So we review our raw data and we actually see what's going to print here. And another cool function is we can set different colors in here. So I view white. So I don't view white as white, right? Because I've got a white background, white screen. If I view white as white, kind of hides. I don't really know that white's coming through here. So I can choose to do things like view white as this light gray. When I do that, now I can see where the white toner is going to go and I can verify that, no, I did not want white in here because this is going to go, you know, in this particular graphic, the way that it's going, I don't actually want the white in the soccer ball. I also might have wanted it in the soccer because ball. Because when you're not used to printing white, you get that white box. <laughs> yeah. Brand new users all the time that are like, oh, I got the it's white box. It's a typical thing. You, you just don't, you're not used to checking for it. Exactly. So this is, it's a great tool for you. And then, and then we go ahead and you hit print and it goes over to the printer. So. Um, at this point in time, we, we can, if you have some questions about the software, feel free to ask. Um, we might address them throughout the rest of the demo. Some of, a lot of times people who are very technical will ask some deep questions about the software. Feel free to ask them. We might say, give us a call on that one um, because it might be a little, a detail that's a little bit too much to go into in a webinar or whatever it might be. So anyway, from here, we're good to go. This does a bunch of other really cool things uh, to mention. Show that white shirt. What's that? Can I show this white shirt? Oh yeah, we're not on video right that right now though. But yes. No, I know. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So some other things you can do. Um, not I'm not going to get too deep into them because it gets very technical. But you can do all types of things with your graphic. You can actually go in there and actually I have a screenshot of one handy. Uh, let's see. Do I? Yeah. Here we go. Here's a screenshot of something I just did before. So this is actually where we actually put dot ripped holes out of it, all right, to reduce the amount of toner we're going to put down. You can also flip it the other way and actually have it just be the dots are where the uh, toner would go. So you can go back and forth. You could put stripes at of varying degrees. Um, you can do all types of different effects in here. You can also do different things like uh, taking your image. Here, let me open this up. And I can adjust the size of the image. Right here. Let me go. Here we go. And then, uh, and then when I turn on the camera, um, we'll show you yeah, some sure. stripes and samples and stuff that Holly's holding right now. Let me just get it. Let me just show you this real quick. All right, grab this. So if I wanted to reduce this to just say a five-inch wide image, I can do that here. I don't have to do actually any graphic manipulation. Um, if it was going to be a, a left chest logo image, I wanted to do it at 3.5. I can also create copies here. Like so, I can space them out. And we, you can even grab these nodes and drag down to create more copies, or you can physically type in numbers. So you can gang things together. You can put multiple images on different sheets. You can adjust sizes. You can decide, uh, you can mirror the image or not. Typically, you print mirrored. But these are all things that are great that you don't need graphic software um, experience or really at all technically. Um, to be able to run this system. It comes with the GIMP software installed, so you can use that graphic software. We've got training available for that. We've got a course available for that. It's about 25 or 26 lectures on how to use that graphic software that comes in this. And it also, and this software itself, if you are not the graphic artist or you've got a team of people that you work with, so maybe one person does the printing, one person does the graphic, one person does the running of the business, the sales and invoicing and such. The printing, the person who does the printing can literally just get the thumb drive handed to them or something dropped on a network drive and they can drag the things in, do the preview, get the preview approved by the person who's doing the graphics and then go ahead and start printing transfers and t-shirts. So 
we'll go ahead and print some stuff. And is there anything else you want to show on the screen, Holly, before we go? I think so. Looks like we have a hand up, though, but I'm not. I think that's just uh, from earlier. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back to you, Holly. Okay. And you've got, she's got a sample of some of the things we've done with Print Optimizer. So the screen's going off. Right now you can't see my screen. It may screen. take a second to flip. Yeah, then now uh, I'm turning the camera on. Let's see. All right. Good. We're broadcasting, so if it takes a minute for your computer screen to catch up, just hang tight. So this is where um, we took the, the same image and we printed solid. And it's, you know, solid anything doesn't is isn't the best hand, but a lot of people will want their photos on memorial shirts or family reunion shirts or whatever, so you will have customers that request this. Um, this is actually printed with a dither feature, which has reduced the amount of toner, so that's why it's not quite so bright. But this is how we used horizontal stripes. And you can't, can you see that? Yeah, I mean, if you bring it back, so if you bring it back at a reasonable distance, which I say, well, there's two distances that people look at t-shirts. The normal way, when two people <laughs> meet and they converse and talk and notice their t-shirt and say, that's a funny t-shirt you're wearing. And then people who make t-shirts where they hold the t-shirt an inch away from their eye. Okay, so Can't tell the at the normal distance, um, it's really cool because features like this allow you to soften up a shirt, yeah, and you use can't even toner, tell and you can see the image perfectly. Um, and wash great because the water's gonna go through it in the, in the washer. Yeah, um, so, but it's just one of those features that a lot of people like to do. They like to create these functions and features. And it's great because you don't have to necessarily manipulate your graphics. Second. So we've got prints ready to go. Would you mind showing yeah. us the next step? So again, this is what comes out. And I'm actually just gonna take we call this our B sheet, and what this is going to do is put a white polymer backing to everywhere the toner right above is laid down. Thank you. And I usually peel on the other side. I'm going to so, go ahead, and I'm going to get a little bit closer in here okay. just so we can we can get a good view of this. Is this a, a good angle for you? Sure. You're the boss here. Yeah, that's okay? fine. All right. Great. I'm going to have to peel backwards, but that's okay. Okay. So a lot of people ask, you know. Is this process different? It's going to be the same paper, same process for every single item. The things that will change will be your pressure and sometimes your time and um, your heat. And we do offer full training. So as you, well, actually, when the funds hit for your printer, um, initiated to by accounting, you will get an email. You'll be able to start your training before your printer ever gets to you. So you can go ahead and pop that in. Pop yeah. some popcorn and go to town. <laughs> yeah, and if you actually, and if you don't mind, I interject on go that ahead. a bit. So what we've done with the training recently, which is different than you're, than you're going to find um, it with a lot of other companies out there, is that we've put it, we've connected it to an actually a learning management system software. So this software is the type of software if you've taken an actual online course or it tracks your progress and yeah. determines. So if you're having trouble with something. And you need to, and you need the help of a support technician. You can call in. You can say, "I'm going through the training. For some reason, I'm stuck at step five. I'm not sure what I might be doing wrong." They'll say, "Okay." They can actually log into your training account, see how far along you've gotten, and actually say, "You know what? The question that you're running into is right in the next video." Or, or, or they, they might say, "Oh, yeah, you're making this simple common mistake." Whatever it might be. Awesome. And I wanted to comment real quick. We got about 35 seconds. Um, heat press. I have a lot of folks that have been working with a heat press, they already have a heat press, we highly suggest this, this uh, Hutronics Fusion. And the reason being, this process right here, the mirroring process, is very sensitive to correct pressure. And a lot of them, don't, you know, a lot of other presses don't have gauges. So I can digitally see my pressure and my temperature right here. And the coiling in my heat are very close together. Um, and some of the other presses, they're farther apart. It can create cold spots. And that causes your glue not to go on to your paper correctly which will not allow it to wash well. Do you want to zoom in on this, Mark? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Like, uh. yeah, so was, this uh, we're going to do, I'm oh, sorry, low and slow. I'm going to keep it on the heat. I'm also going to make one more comment, too. Everybody says, you make your videos look so easy. It is easy, guys, but just with every process, you have to learn. So this is super simple, but like, give yourself time to learn. Don't expect your printer to be delivered and be in production mode the next day. Give yourself a couple of days, go through training, 
and take your time. That way you're not stressed. I'd say that th this portion here, and we'll do another one yeah. because we've got another one handy. I was going to show printed. this too. Yeah, go ahead. So this is my go sheet. It's taken, so you'll see only the glue has been removed where my graphic is. And this border around the outside, you're probably wondering what the heck that is. That actually takes the tension off, and you can you don't have to keep this on later as you learn. Um, but that'll take the tension off my graphic so I don't peel it up. See how I kind of peeled on the corners? That's our training wheels. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just push another one through while you, and, okay. and feel free to go ahead. But I have it. And while we're doing that, um, let's take a look at some of the cool stuff you can do with this. Okay, cool. So, so this is our newly renovated showroom too, so I hope you guys are, are liking this as much as we are. Um, we have some products over here. That's embroidery, not that. <sighs> this is kind of cool. When we finish the product, because we're going to put it on a shirt in a minute, when you push it, your final step, you can push it down into the fabrics. You can That will give you a matte finish. This is the same item that we have put on wood. This side is not finished, and this side is. So I've left it glossy over here, matte on the other side. So you can do that with some of your, your products. Um, this was a neat one. It's about an inch and a half thick piece of wood. So this was made by applying the transfer and taking an exacto knife and cutting it out. Um, hats, of course. Now, if you're doing the front of hats, that does require a separate press. For this fusion, though, um, I don't know if you can zoom down there, Mark, but we yeah, have all sure. our platins. I'm sorry, they're kind of sloppy. But all of our platins are down here. This bottom plate will pop off. So I have uh, an option to do four bill caps. I've got smaller platins if I want to do something like this, where I have to slide okay. my platen inside. Um, can koozie, we have one for shoes and one for sleeves. Yeah, I love that can cooler one. Yes. It's eight. You could do eight at eight. once. And you literally just pop the thing on the bottom of that platen, and you just pop them up through on the right. sides and do eight at once. It's it's a really cool attachment. Right. It's probably my favorite attachment. I've got 15 seconds left, so I'm just going to hang tight, and then we'll go ahead and put it on a shirt to move these transfers. So we're doing a second transfer for you. Um, if you're... I always say like one of the best things for production runs, and go ahead and peel and I'll talk while you okay. peel, um, but is if you have a second heat press, if you're busy enough that you can you can actually uh, uh, afford to have two heat presses, it's fantastic because you can have one that's taking care of the marrying process like this, and you can have another one that's actually applying the garments. There we go. Here, pass it to oh, me. And once these are married, there's no shelf life. So if some of you guys do like craft shows or uh, like some some people have mobile units, you could actually pre-do some of your transfers if you needed to, and they could just be hauled with you. No, and sell these transfers. That's such a yes, big business. Uh, we do have people that sell transfers. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a really big and and it's a growing business. That's one of the things I recommend, um, especially for somebody looking to find a new way, is you yeah. sell these transfers to screen printers and embroiderers and locally. That. Sorry, I moved the other two. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here you go. This one's for the yeah. Dark I took shirt. them away. There you go. You read my mind. So that's a 100% cotton anvil shirt that we're working with, but it works with polyester blends as well. So it's going to go in for another 30 seconds, and then I'm going to do a cool peel. While that one's cooling off, I'll just go ahead and throw in the white shirt. I, I took yeah, I'll get you a white there. transfer too. Thank you. I wasn't thinking. Do we have any questions so far? Uh, I'll check the questions here in a minute. As far as production, like you said, yeah, you can do about 20 or 30. And I, <laughs> rookie mistake right there. I am. Thank you. There you go. This is my first time filming in the showroom, so I don't know. <laughs> It's hard. I don't know where to put I've anything. I've been putting the paper on the top of that shelf up there. I found that, yeah, okay. that it's a very convenient. I feel like I'm, 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 um, my space is weird. Okay, great. So it's cool. You get to use the same transfer for a light colored garment and a dark colored garment. And this That's one is great. probably ready.
So there's that. And as you can see, that's got a nice glossy finish. And we need to finish it up. Yeah, in here. I'll get another so that one. I'll get another ready. one for you. So it looks pretty. Yeah, let's make it pretty. And I'll get you some new sheets as well. Yeah, that'd be great. There we go. Let me go back to here. Yeah, so typically when we're working, I have one of those sheets labeled with an M and one labeled with an F. And don't make that mistake. That's what happens when you're live. There you go. Hold on a you second. And this one is probably complete. There we down. go. I got it. Go. Oh, that was a ruler. <laughs> Yardstick. Um, and I'm going to do this because a lot of people ask me. I just, this is cotton, so I just rip it off like a Band-Aid. If I'm working with poly or nylon or anything that's super um, thin, I will actually take it and hold really tight, and I'll roll off. And that Because that pol the poly can sometimes pull. So... The cotton is really easy to work with. So the, col the colors are awesome. Looks great. That's oh, yeah. one of my favorite things. It is. It's like a self-weaning type of a process. Um, it's also a single step process. So I, I mentioned a couple people um, were into screen screen printing. So you don't actually have to layer this. You don't have to worry about doing white and then and then doing colors afterwards or doing any type of heat in between your layers like that. Um, and everything is a single pass. So as it goes through the printer, it actually goes through a CMYW process, putting the W on last. So now I'm going to put um, this back in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I'm sorry, the camera's not in the right spot. There you go. I'll just give you another one. Perfect. Then I'm going to turn my heat press up. This is what the last press is going to push it down into the fabric. And this is probably ready to go. There you go. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, very bright. Cool. I'm just going to back it up a bit so you can see kind of everything as you're doing your finishing step here. I'm also going to check some questions here. Um, does it, uh, do, will it go on polyester? Yes. So we, yeah, we, we, co we covered that here. one, but yeah, um, they probably asked that beforehand. So there's my nice finished matte shirt. And I've got I've got a poly sample over there. Actually, this is poly, right here. On the oh, mannequin. okay. Yeah, bring it out. He's a good. I don't know oh, oh, never mind. Yeah, on the mannequin. mannequin. <laughs> but that's that's poly. And behind you, Mark, is that the uh, jersey? Okay. Here you go. Yeah. So here's poly. So you could do it on the varying types of polyester, uh, the moisture wick style. You could do it on the, the polyesters that feel a little bit more like a cotton. You could do it on sports sports material. Here's a sports material one. Yeah. There you so go. now they're on poly. This is the wicking material. And that's an example of our green neon. So as I mentioned before, we'd talk about that. So these are actually colored papers. We have four neons and I believe like eight metallics. So you just, there's a tab in the optimizer software that you choose, and you print it under that, and it'll print your color for you. And this one is complete. So um, some questions about time and temperature on various various questions about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, answer it all together. Or okay. if you want to just go ahead and what's, what's like the just, there's a lot of numbers, but what's the standard time and temperature for the marrying process we in florida it's all humidity based but in florida we use 285 and um 120 for the um for the marrying step cotton is we leave it at 285 
My polys are 260. Um, nylon is, and to put it on in the finishing step or 30 seconds, if I'm doing anything under 260, like wood, I do it 240, um, or nylon that 225, I just put it in for 45 seconds so I cook it a little bit longer. But it can be applied as low as 220. And you don't have to remember those times, guys. We teach you all this stuff. So someone had asked about the jersey we had shown. This is a really good it, question. Is it that pink one? Um, was the oh, the one, oh, the one I just had? Yeah. Was the name and the number, oh. This was, was this all in one sheet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a single sheet. Y'all, hand me that, that uh, bowling one, too. Um, sure. This is a, a little bit of um, dated sample. We're trying to redo some of our stuff. But I get a lot of um, questions about size. The paper is 11 by 17, but like this is a men's triple X. So we've done three transfers. The bowling is one here and then the bottom. So we pretty much covered the whole back of that shirt. I've also done some tire covers and bigger things like that with um, tiling. Yeah, you're almost doing, a, it's almost 11 by 17. The, the paper's tabloid, but on any paper, just it's a printer. You under, everyone right. understands this. You buy eight and a half by 11 printer for your house that you print documents on. You don't print to the edge. There's gotta be, you've gotta right. have that margin. It's just, This is a printer as well. So it works the same way. You've gotta have a little bit of a margin. Uh, See, and I, I did wanna quickly um, scroll over here. Yeah, Some you of you guys, you're the, probably already getting our email, so you might've seen this project before. But um, Mark and myself ahead, and yeah. Stephanie worked on this, and I thought it was really neat. So we took, one logo and we put it on all these products so and we actually use only three pieces of paper so this is the t-shirt we did for it we had the logo and then the back and then say these guys are your clients so we did koozie we've got a wooden clock a hat packaging i'm sure you guys are familiar with etsy everybody loves their packaging to look cute um, we did a metal sign. And the metal sign is probably one of my favorite it's ones. It's my favorite. It came too. out better, way better than I thought. Yeah. And uh, and it was just, it was one of those things that we we never pressed on that material before. So the possibilities are huge that there are more materials we haven't even tested yet that, that I'm sure would stick to fine. I get some crazy calls, crazy yeah. stuff for demos. This is like a canvas bag. And we also did the little tag with it too. You could put your pricing on here with your logo. And then these were inside of our gift box. Gift box. It was actually four slate coasters. So those are. Rough. And for those folks who do sublimation, you're used to um, if you wanted to do something on a slate right. or on you would actually have to be a sublimatable material. This can work on anything. So uh, everything right, we got there, we just happened to just buy from Michaels, actually, just from a craft store. So you can get really small, or of course you can buy. And that was used with the shoe platen. We I didn't have a shoe over there earlier. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think this is kind of unique. If you guys have been around for a while and seen our videos, bone finger. And here's a example of our metallic, the blue metallic. So oh, yeah, the metallic looks great. The metallic looks great by itself. It can be actually all this this whole process can be paired with different technologies. So if you wanted to layer with glitter vinyl or rhinestones or metallic, you can do that no problem. And again, we teach you how to do all that stuff. So great. So um, there's some questions about there were some I already cleared them, but there were okay. questions about pricing and stuff, which is actually the next on our list. Sure. So we might as well go into that. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about what does uh, the various, it was all the typical questions people ask. What's the system cost? Uh, tell us a little bit about sure. financing. Um, how, lo how long does it take to get a machine in once you've, once you've purchased it all? Perfect. Typical stuff. So the, the printer itself is $68.95 and that's across the board. Every distributor has to sell it the same. If you don't see it for the same, please contact us. Um, like I said, we're a 50 year old company. We're not fly by night, like e-commerce site that's, may close the doors tomorrow so that's what the price of the printer is we have different packages if you're already in the industry like say you already have the the fusion press or you have a compatible uh 16 by 20 press that has the pressure readout those packages run closer to 8,000 and go up to about if you added a hat press to about 11.5 um 
General financing is about two to four hundred dollars a month, depending on time in business, credit, and um, the terms you pick. Don't be too too afraid if you have credit. We we work work with several different lenders. They have a lot of different programs. So sometimes they'll they'll even ask like for for personal credit, can I see some bank statements? Can I do something? So we have people that really fight to get you this equipment. So don't be afraid if, if maybe you have a few boo-boos on your credit. Uh, you asked me one more thing, didn't you? Um, once somebody makes their purchase, what's the okay. what's the timeline? So once it is funded, um, if you're going through financing, that's usually about a two to four business day process. So give yourself time for that. Once it's funded, it leaves my warehouse generally between two and four days. And it comes created, air, I'm sorry, not, not air, Freighted and um, to you, insured to your door. That's great. And yeah. I know Tali and I had had some conversation before this, maybe address um, uh, address kind of the learning curve. Because when people often say, like, it looks so easy, and I right. joke about it all the time, I'm like, it's super easy, but people do have some trouble. So what's learning curve like? What, what should people expect? So depending on, I feel like I have the most struggle. It looks like you guys are already most of you are already in the business. I feel like the most struggle comes from people that are just coming straight from vinyl cutters. If you're just using SVG files and that's all you're used to, reach out to one of, the, uh, one of us. We can direct you on some vector software, just like we're using the optimizers. There's GIMP, there's um, like Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw. So that way, if you design in a vector program, I can push it to anything. If I want to add a rhinestone machine later or embroidery or whatever, then my designs aren't stuck. So my SVG customers, they're only dealing with cut lines, so we got to learn. To, the, we're coming into a photo quality digital printer, and we got to start working with colors. So graphics, but if you're coming from FG, SVG, you know nothing about graphics. There's hundreds of files, t-shirt bundles, and all that stuff online. You, our sales experts can help you with all that stuff. Just start with print-ready files. You don't have to be a graphic designer. Um, and then otherwise, just learning to peel the paper. You might mess up a sheet or two but that's about it. But I try to say, can't stress enough, don't take orders. I know you're excited that your printer's on its way. I don't care if you've been in the printing business for 50 years. Don't take orders <laughs> until you get everything trained. Try to give yourself, say I wanna be ready for August 1st or whatever, because that's a big deadline for me, or the Christmas push is coming up. If you wanna be ready, if you're financing, give yourself about three to four weeks. So apply three to four weeks before you wanna be up and running. If you're a cash buyer, uh, between two and three weeks. That way it gives you time to either process your loan, for us to get your order, get it out our door, get it to you, and for you to give yourself a couple of free days, free and clear, to learn. Yeah, that's Let true. us teach you. And and we've got, um, I'll actually switch to screen share. So let's just okay. share a few resources and then we'll say goodbye at the end um, because we're running, uh, we're running about five minutes past where we wanted to be so far, but that's just fine. So we're in our, uh, a few things to show you online. For one, um, you've probably been here, but if you haven't, this is our digitalheateffects.com. Um, while you're on here, we've got uh, a live chat function. If you're on here and you've got a question, you know, uh, Todd, you know, Todd was online. Todd already saw us on here and asked if we needed help, you know, so there's people on here ready to answer your questions basically immediately. Um, we've also got our phone number right on top. Pick up the phone, give us a call. Um, now, uh, there's, we'll also show you, um, we mentioned the custom apparel startups. And that's this on is Facebook where, as well. Uh, yeah, and this is customapparelstartups.com. We'll link you to the Facebook group. It also is where we have our GIMP t-shirt design course, perfect for folks that are not in the business at all, okay? Um, and then we've got our how to, how to start a custom t-shirt business. And you can read about these if you visit the website, um, customapparelstartups.com. Um, and then um, Robert Hunter asked, where do you buy your supplies? We yeah. do have an e-commerce site for and I'll supplies. I'll jump on that in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I'll jump on that. Um, so we're in a training next. So we've got a training site. Okay, so you're in the right place for training. We've yeah. got a training site and all of that. Perfect. Okay. Oh, didn't we have some kind of special today if they hit us up after this webinar? Yes, yes, actually. So here, let me pull up another thing and then we'll jump into that. Exactly. Okay. Um, so a couple, yeah, some specials and stuff that we talked about today. Just so, oh, you just typed it, didn't you? So if you type 
type me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't even get to that yet. Sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm ahead of you. Yeah, you're, you're like three steps ahead. I'm still on training, <laughs> all right? Um, training. So uh, you're in the right place for training, all right? This is where we talked about our learning management system that we have. So these courses are all for the uh, for this system. So what you do is when you purchase your system, if, if, if somebody has a printer that they, that they own and they want to get training, they can purchase training. But when you purchase equipment from us, you actually get a voucher for your training. So you click redeem voucher and then you get access to all the various pieces of this, all the various courses in this. So some of it has to do with the paper, some of it has to do with the different features of the software. Um, others is just understanding the basics of the process. And Michael, great question. As many of the, sometimes with many of these as we do, um, you always forget something. That's a very important question. He asked, what is the cost of a print? Um, so I, you can do it two ways. If you're a member of our Paper Savers Club, with, which those come in all of our bundles, um, your boxes are $369 for a box of 111 by 17 A and B paper. So you can either calc calculate by the size of your design, which is two cents per square inch, um, or if you know you're going to need an entire piece of paper, you could. It would be a 375, and a lot of my customers just round up to four to make it safe, but like I can get, if I'm doing left chest logos, 40 to 50 on there. If I'm doing, um, I can do two eight by tens. So you're gonna really um, load that paper up. Another question I always get, and I forgot to do it when we were looking at the printer. Um, can you cut your paper? Yes, you're gonna lose about a half inch margin each time you cut, but I've cut, as, as long as I leave my width 11 inches, I've cut as, low, as small as four, just cut your A sheet and your B sheet together. Okay, cool. Some cool stuff then. Um, so um, here's our supply site. People ask about this all the time. I saw one, I saw a few questions even in the beginning about this, but I knew I was getting to it. Um, where do you get supplies? Where do you get your paper? So um, ColemanandCompany.com. This is where you can find a bunch of information. You can watch videos. Um, here, here's a video on the neon and metallic. Here's where you buy paper, toner, neon paper, metallic paper. Um, the transfer sheets, everything that you need to be able to run and keep your equipment up and running is all is all on here. We've also got a ton of other products. So if you guys are in the business, which many of you um, are right now, um, I'm going to recommend you check out our vinyl section because you're, you're, most people will still do some vinyl, you know, for after they get a system like this, they might do it for um, they might do it for. Glitter, for example, is a really common one. You got to check out our Triton vinyl. It's an amazing product. Um, the reviews are awesome, um, not only from people calling in, but people leaving reviews online and our social media reviews too. It's better than any other brand of vinyl out there in regards to how it washes, how it feels, how it cuts, how it how it weeds. It's yes. a fantastic product. Um, it, it offers 100% money back guarantee if you don't like it. So if you don't like the if you don't like the product. For whatever reason, you don't like the way it looks, smells, tastes, weeds, cuts, anything, 100% worry-free money-back guarantee. Um, and it, we've got a ton of colors and, and growing. So awesome. just some, just another little plug because a lot of people are in this business. And we sell heat presses and everything else that you're going to need. 